started doing this shit when I was like 17, 18, and feel me? I had a lot of down moments, how to, you know what I'm saying? I just started getting my little up moments, and you know what I'm saying? This shit is, uh, this shit is a, uh, a, a, a very shiesty game of chess, you feel me? I um, came a long way from where I first began, where I first started at, and you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to keep myself afloat and keep myself progressing, and you know what I mean? Just keep making beautiful music for the people, and you know, I'm just a young brother from Brooklyn, just, you know what I mean? Trying to get shit right. How did it all start for you? High school, doing like, Ciphers and shit, but old I got, the more serious I started taking it. So, I mean, I remember, I remember back in the day, you know, little Tumblr meetups, young Kenny, <laughs> your niggas. We all, we all got started off those Tumblr meetups, the humble days. Yeah, those were the fun days. Those were fun days. Who are your top three artists and why? My favorite? Mm -hmm. uh, this band called Corn. Lupe Fiasco and Eminem. You say Lupe? Yo, listen, listen, listen. Lupe is fire, but it's just how could you come at Kid Cudi? I do not agree with that. I just, I just don't, bro. I don't. He, he, he had his reasons, but we not gonna get into that because I fuck with Cudi as well too. Kid Cudi definitely my top ten. I, I def like Lupe over Kid Cudi. Just. His lyrics is just more empowering, but I love Kid Cudi as well. Do you write your own lyrics? Of course. Even though, it's nothing wrong with having niggas write for you. Like, niggas been doing that since the beginning of time. You're right, you're right, you're right. Now, somebody come with me, to me with a, with a hit, Dev, take you're it out off it? your hands. You're doing it? Yeah, give me that. <laughs> all right, Drake. <laughs> you think the advent of the internet and all the new technologies has helped your music and independent musicians in general, or do you think it creates like a massive mediocre like copycats that just surface the web, making it difficult for everyone? Like I seen like a bunch of artists like come up with the same song like Skirt Skirt. There's like three versions of that. Like you feel me? Like it's ridiculous. But I think if you know how to use the internet to your advantage, it'll work for you. Because all three of those Skirt Skirt songs is that got numbers, like you can't lie to them. All three songs got numbers, you feel me? Like, and me, I have no manager, no nothing, you feel me? I do everything on my own. So, feel me? Because of the internet, I'm getting booked for shows in Paris, I'm getting booked for shows in London, I'm going to Slovakia to do shows because people are seeing shit on the internet, and they just like, yo, I want to bring them here, I want to bring them there, you feel me? So, it's a luxury of the internet if you know how to use it. But like older niggas trying to be artists and shit, they have a hard time getting into that realm because them niggas don't know how to use the internet, you feel me? They not internet savvy. They don't have niggas on their team that know how to use the internet, you feel me? Like, I hate to be blunt, but nowadays shit is, shit is all about retweets and likes, you feel me? And, and followers, so. If you shit not up the pod, it's hard for you to even get an audience, you feel me? So, internet depth is, depth gives you an advantage if you know how to use it.